Greetings, Bloodborne Guru here, with a video showing you the secrets of the first level in the sewers. The first thing you want to do is to open the shortcut gate next to the central lamp. To do this, drop down the hidden hole in the fence behind the boxes here into the cage dog area, and then follow the path round to the gate. This shortcut will make it easier to get to the boss, and give you quick access to the central lamp from the back of this area. Next, go back to the cage dog area, and this time go to the other way towards the sewers. There is a hidden window here behind the boxes that has two hanging bodies ready to be cut down with items on them. One has the saw spear weapon, and the other has two bloodstone shards. There is also an NPC, Eileen the Crow, that will give you a few items if you keep talking to it. Head deeper into the sewers and you will come across a pig that is guarding the Saw Hunter badge, which makes new weapons appear for sale at the Bath Merchant in Hunter's Dream. Head up the ladder at the entrance to where the pig was. Up here on the left is an elevator that when activated will become a shortcut to the second boss if you need to come back down to him. On the main bridge leading to the first boss, head down the side path and into the sewers from behind these boxes, and you will eventually come to a corpse on the floor that has the best armor set for the beginning of the game. Whilst in the sewers again, head up the long ladder which eventually leads to another ladder with a gate at the top. Speak to the girl in the window who will ask you to look for her missing mother, and give you a music box that will help you with the second boss fight. Her mother can be found in the second boss room dead. Pick the item up from her and either use it yourself, or give it to the little girl, which will start a quest for her later in the game. Near the start of the level you can farm items from the Executioner enemy, who is one of only a few enemies in this level that drops items other than bullets and blood vials. He can drop stones that you can use to upgrade your weapon at the workstation in Hunter's Dream. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to watch someone who doesn't follow these guides in an inept rage playthrough. Let's go back for this secret slob. We'll call him the secret slob. Don't you turn your back on me. Look at that power. What, what the? Took out clean in 20 seconds. Even he can't believe it.